Not only is Angry Birds um, a great game, but it's also a great example of physics, more specifically the physics of projectile motion. So I'm going to show you in this short video how we can use Tracker to analyse the motion of an Angry Bird and therefore understand a little bit more about how projectile motion works. So if you open up Tracker, go to Video and Import, and we're going to import the, the video Angry Birds.mp4. Once that video is loaded in, if you right click on that video, go to Zoom to fit, it will just make things a bit bigger and therefore a bit easier uh, to do the analysis. Now when we've been analysing video before using Tracker, and um, we've had to click on each individual point itself, but this time we're going to use a different function of uh, analysis, we're going to use the auto tracker function. So if you go to create, go to point mass, you can then click on mass A and you'll see the option auto track. This is basically going to do all the boring stuff for you. So the next thing to do is to cycle through the video a little bit. Once you get a wee bit closer to the launch of the Angry Bird from the catapult, maybe cycle forward using these buttons just to go forward a frame at a time. Once it's emerged from the catapult, what to do is just move this little circle so that it's around the Angry Bird. You want this picture over here to look pretty much just like an Angry Bird on its own without any background. So that looks okay like that. Um, then click on Next and it'll ask you to identify the target. So you want this target to be around about the middle of the Angry Bird, as close to the middle as possible. Click on Next and um, this is just asking you if you accept a certain amount of error in the calculations that it makes. Just leave it as it is with scores above 4. Click on Next and then the next thing you do is just really click on Search. Once you click on Search you'll notice here that the motion of the Angry Bird is tracked quite nicely through to the end of the frame, end of the video. Um, it will say no match was found once it goes off the screen so just close that, that's your analysis finish. You can now run this back to the start, hit play and from the launch from the catapult once it's eventually launched you should be able to see that you have tracked the motion quite nicely um, of the Angry Bird. There we go, so it moves in that parabolic path. Now what we're looking to do is, is analyse how the horizontal velocity changes and also how the vertical velocity changes. And from the vertical velocity we can hopefully figure out what size an Angry Bird should be um, to make its acceleration the same as G, acceleration due to gravity.